This video walkthrough will help you optimize the setup of your lead feeder account so that you can leverage and benefit from the three core functions of lead feeder identify, qualify, and connect. We'll show you how to identify the companies that you should be focusing on, whether they be prospects, leads, or current customers, how to qualify and prioritize these companies and the best ways to connect to the key stakeholders at these companies. So let's dive right into it. Every time you log into LeadFeeder, you'll see a list of all the companies that have visited your website within the time frame shown above. You can always choose between a preset time period or a custom time period. By default, the leads are sorted by quality, which is ranked by how engaged a company is on your website. If you hover over the quality bar, we give you a quick snapshot of the amount of visits page views, and bounces. And if you're unfamiliar with the Google Analytics term bounce, this means that someone visited only one page on your website and left without browsing to another page. You can always sort by latest visit as well, up top. And of course, browsing through hundreds of companies may not always be a good use of your time, so you can further filter the companies based on your ideal customer profile, such as by company, industry, geography, visitor engagement, marketing campaign type, and much, much more. This is accomplished by custom feeds on the right-hand side. You can click between different feeds that we provide out of the box or different ones you create. For example, I want to see everyone who visits our pricing page and is from the U.S. market. I just click on that custom feed, and you can see the read list change on the left-hand side. Or to build a new feed, just click on the Create New Feed button and choose from filter options, which are divided into different categories, such as visitor behavior, marketing acquisition, company info, and your CRM data. For example, let's create a feed based on traffic from your Google AdWords campaigns and based on if they viewed a minimum of three pages. You can even set up email notifications, have leads push to Slack, or set up some triggers and automation around the feed. Then when you hit save, voila, you can switch over to this feed going forward. Now that you have a targeted list of companies to focus on, you can spend time digging into each one. Just click on the company to expand the details to the right-hand side. This is where you can see basic company data, such as employee size, industry, links to their website, links to their social profiles, and their corporate headquarter phone number. Then below that is a list of lead feeder contacts. Lead feeder contacts is a complementary database of contact information for stakeholders at a company, including their email address and links to their social profiles. This feature helps you take the company-based information of those visiting your site and allows you to find the who at that visiting company so you can reach out and make a warm versus cold connection. Below the contact section are the visit details. You can see when the company has visited, the source of the visit, which is how they found your website, the exact pages viewed during a session, and how long was spent on each page. Pro tip! If you install our Lead Feeder Booster script, you'll be able to see exactly how many different individuals from a single company are browsing your site. We do this by assigning a unique number to each individual, as seen here. With the Booster script, your data will also be updated more frequently. Based on all of this data, you can decide to take action on it in several different ways. One way is to sync a lead to your CRM and create activities and deals that also get pushed into your CRM. By syncing a lead, you can also have visit details pushed directly into your CRM every time the company visits. Check out our integrations page for a full list of CRMs that we integrate with. You can also add comments, assign a lead to a team member, email the details to someone, send to Slack, follow the company, add tags for further categorization, and hide irrelevant companies to keep your list clean. Companies that you hide don't count towards your monthly quota so you essentially only pay for companies that matter to you. And if you have the team or enterprise edition of LinkedIn Sales Navigator, you can turn on the integration with just a click of a button. For even more granular data, you can also turn on the integration with MailChimp if you currently use MailChimp to send email campaigns. Doing so will allow you to track what individual users on your email list are doing on your website. With MailChimp, you only know if someone opened or clicked on an email but you don't get to see what pages they browsed on your site after receiving your email campaign. Lastly, if you're an admin, you can easily manage your settings in the top right corner. 
including things like the Google Analytic views you're tracking on LeadFeeder, billing, and the users who have access to your LeadFeeder account. Adding users costs no extra to your account, and we find that our most successful customers invite users from their marketing, sales, and customer success teams. Have more questions? Feel free to reach out to our support or browse the many helpful articles and videos in our Help Center to find more resources on how to better identify, qualify, and connect with your leads.